Hey folks, it's Norm Bergen here, taking you on an insider's tour of Jasper National Park. Today we are up here at the beautiful Jasper Sky Tram. Folks, this is the very first aerial tramway ever established in our country. It is the highest and the longest guided tramway in the country, traveling at a speed of six meters per second or about 18 feet per second. Once you board the tram, it takes just over seven minutes to reach the upper station on Whistler's Mountain. Did you know that the Jasper Sky Tram used to be a ski hill? If you look closely here over my right shoulder just behind me, you will see where we still have some adventuresome people using their snowboards on this mountain. In the 1940s, while the British Army was training for alpine maneuvers on what is now the famous Marmot Basin Ski Hill, locals used the tow rope and jump built by Ken Cook to ski Whistler's Mountain. There isn't very much left of the original ski runs. However, right here behind me, you can see the original chalet. For many, many years, it served Jasper and area as the high hostel. And if you look closely at the very top, over beside that chimney, you will see the top of Jasper Skytram. Whistler's Mountain is named for the hoary marmot, a large rodent that communicates with whistles and lives all over the mountain tops in this area. It was a couple of hikers, William McGregor and Norman Gustafson, who were inspired by the view of the top of Whistler's Mountain, who had the idea to build an aerial tram up the mountains. Engineer John Ogilvie designed the tram. There are two tram cars. Each car travels along a track rope cable and is attached to a hauling cable that pulls it up the mountain. As one car goes up, the other car goes down. Here, we look into the wheelhouse and see the mechanisms at work. Construction began in 1963. It was completed in five months. Helicopters were used to haul material and engineers to the upper station until the project was far enough along that the tram cars could be used to haul finishing materials to the top. In fact, the tram cars are still used that way today. One of the cars is fitted with a water tank underneath and hauls the water used in the kitchen and bathrooms at the upper station. All the food available in the restaurant travels up the mountain the same way. The Jasper Sky Tram has an incredible safety record. There have been no accidents since the tram opened in 1964. The most important thing about this Sky Tram is the incredible view. Folks, just look at this. On one side of the station, you can see Pyramid Mountain and the Victoria Cross Range, and on a clear day, even Mount Robson. On the other, you can see the Athabasca River and the whole town of Jasper. This is one of the best places in the world to come and do your dark sky viewing. From here on top of Whistler's Mountain, especially during the months of September and October, during the Dark Sky Festival. I guess I'm not the only one that enjoys these views. Stay safe, be well, and I'll see you in the mountains. This land.